Royal Trucker fam, it's your girl Queen Trucking and I'm back with another video. We all know why we here, you know what I'm saying? When y'all see this video, it will be the Sunday that this video was supposed to drop. I'm still on home time in Dallas, so I'm still rolling around. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make this video and break down to everybody why I decided to leave prom. If you guys wanna know why I left prom, keep watching this video. If you guys like this content, wanna continue to get content from me as I move on to my next truck company, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. So let's just get straight into the video, straight into the fact right into what's going on. Shout out to Mika M and shout out to James Jones and shout out to the family. Shout out to Abigail Farr. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you guys want to shout out my next video, like this current video and come hashtag Royal Chucky Fam. First things first. I want to thank all my subscribers for rocking with me. I want to thank all my subscribers for putting me in a position to even make these videos. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the last trainer that I had because I already know, sorry if y'all see a little shaking, it's because I'm driving in a car or whatever. I'm pretty sure that some of y'all already knew, you know, uh, from my last video that I put in a new trainer that I absolutely ended up getting another trainer. Now, before I say what I have to say about this trainer, like I said, of course, like I said, by all my trainers, I would not be saying his name, but I do wanna say that he was a really good trainer. Like I said, he was pretty much everything that I wanted my first trainer to be. You know what I'm saying? He was very upfront, you know, he was very, he taught me a lot of good things. You know what I'm saying? While I was on his truck for the short time that I was on his truck, it really wasn't even him. It was really the condition of his truck that I was in. One thing that I do want to say about Prime, because Prime does watch my videos, so if Prime is watching this video, you know, my thing with Prime is I really want Prime to, if y'all are going to make people, y'all trainers, you know, that's going to represent y'all's company, I need y'all to get out here in y'all trainers' trucks and see what's going on. Y'all are really just putting people in these trucks, and these trucks are in unhealthy conditions for people to live in. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just go ahead and say that my ex trainer though not the first trainer the second trainer that i had you know what i'm saying that he, he did have roaches on his truck Girl, no. Girl, no, no, no. eating shit over there or nowhere near there nigga. now when i say he had roaches on his truck like i can just break down a little story if you guys seen from my last video that i did of me getting a new trainer um, a lot of y'all caught it, but you know, I was throwing out subtle hints that his truck was a little dirty. Now, like I said, his truck, he's not as clean as my first trainer was. That's one quality that my first trainer did have that he was clean. Then you know when somebody is like basically dirty, you hop on a truck and you can tell that they quick cleaned their truck just to get a student. You know what I'm saying? And that's basically what it was. He quick cleaned his truck to get me on his truck, which worked out because like I said, I got on his truck. I seen that his truck wasn't the bed. It wasn't the cleanest, but it wasn't dirty. You know what I'm saying? So I told him, I was like, okay, well, if you go to the store, you can use some bleach and stuff. You know, um, I'll help you clean your truck. He went to the store, he got some bleach, and then I ended up getting on the truck with him. Now, like I said, in the video, you can see that uh, I was sitting down at the table and I was like, okay, well, this is my last dinner that I'm gonna have with my friends before I go on the road. So right then and there, after that, I ended up hopping on his truck. One thing that I do want my subscribers to do, when you guys get out here and y'all get in these trainers' trucks, I need y'all to get in these trainers' trucks. Get in these trainers' trucks. Look at the back of these trainers' trucks. Sit on your trainer truck for at least about an hour or two just to get the gist of the truck. Because, you know, just generally hopping in the truck looking around isn't enough. You won't know how a person is living in their truck until you actually get on their truck. And that's kind of how it was for me. Like, you know, like I said, he did a quick clean, something enough for me to get on. I looked around and I was like, okay, well, this is good enough. When I actually got on his truck and I started driving his truck and I was on his truck for eight plus hours, you know what I'm saying? I started to notice that he had had a stench in his truck now his truck had a very mildewy milky smell and it was because you know when I asked him about it because I did ask him and tell him about it he was just like one of his last students wasted some milk in his truck and he has a Peterbilt so if anybody know Peterbilt's you know what I'm saying y'all know that Peterbilt's do have carpet in the back so when his student last student he had before me wasted milk in the back of his uh, truck you know what I'm saying the milk went into the carpet of the Peterbilt and it ended up spoiling and he never took his carpet up to get the smell out so when I hopped on his truck the smell you know by the day the worst so when I hopped on his truck and I was driving for the first eight hours the smell had the smell got so bad the fish was so bad that it was just it was 
was just unbearable. When we ended up making it to our 90 because we ended up going to New Mexico to drop off a load. So we, when we ended up getting to our 90 to drop the load off, I told him, you know, you bought all the bleach and stuff. Let's open up your truck. Let's get in your truck and like, let's clean this mug out. Cause at this point I had already accepted him as my trainer. He was such a nice guy. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna bitch and complain about this. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in this truck and I'm gonna clean it with you. Still you my trainer. You were really cool. I like you and I like your vibe. So, you know, I'm not going to let this truck be the reason why I get off. You know what I'm saying? Because I was determined to finish my 50,000 miles. So I was like, okay, well, fuck it. While we were sitting at our shipper, we were sitting at our shipper for about three, four hours. So while we were sitting at our shipper for those three, four hours, like we opened up all the doors, you know, we got the bleach, we got tubs, we got some water and we was in his truck scrubbing it down. So when we started scrubbing down his truck, you know, we eventually found out that the smell was the mold and carpet in his truck. We ended up pulling up his carpet. He ended up shampooing his carpet, you know, doing all the necessary things. Okay, great. So the smell that was in his truck, it was gone. I'm like, okay, cool. If anybody has ever lived in the hood, then y'all already know when you uh live in with roaches, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's just be honest, let's just be 100. If you ain't lived in the hood, you ain't never dealt with roaches. God bless you, you so lucky. But if you just happen to be one of the people who have lived in the hood and who have dealt with roaches, then you already know when you start cleaning up and when you start shaking shit up, the roaches are gonna come out. When we started cleaning up his truck to find out what the smell was and it ended up being his carpet, you know, lifting up his carpet and stuff in the back of Peterbilt, you know, we had all the doors wide open and stuff. And then all of a sudden while I was cleaning down the truck, I noticed that it was like a small baby roach that he had in his truck. Before everybody in the comments know, I did not bring these roaches on his truck because I basically hopped off my first trainer's truck onto his truck. So this is just what that is. You know what I'm saying? This is just, I was only on his truck for a day. And like I said, when we start cleaning up stuff, when we start shaking shit up, this is what I found on this man's truck. And then at first I was like, okay, well maybe he don't have roaches. I was like, maybe this is just because we out here in New Mexico, we got all the doors wide open and we, you know, we cleaning at a shipper, you know what I'm saying? Even though we were outside, but you know, anything could have called crawled in his truck while we were cleaning. I was just like, you know, well, okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about that. You know, maybe, you know, I just was like really, in shock, I was like, well, maybe this ain't his truck. I was like, maybe this ain't his truck. Maybe these ain't the roaches that I'm seeing. Like maybe I'm tripping, okay? We cleaned up the truck. The truck looked nice. The smell was gone because we shampooed the carpet in the back of the Peterbilt. It was all good. It was all good. We got the load after we hopped in the truck and after we drove on in the truck, um, it was his turn to drive because I had drove and now it's his turn to drive. I hopped in the back of the sleeper and I finally went to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Because I drove us out there. We got there, we cleaned up and then I hopped in the back and went to sleep after everything was clean. I'm sleeping in the back of the bunk and you know, after I sleep, I sleep my hours, I wake up. And you know, at this point, you know, I'm a little hungry or whatever. So, you know, I reach over and I, you know, I had some snacks. I reach over and grab the snacks. You know, I'm eating all my snacks. And then all of a sudden, I see, you know, in the corner of my eye, you know what I'm saying? I see this roach, this big ass roach, start running up the side of his wall Bruh. or whatever, right? At that moment, I hopped up so quick. I was just like, bro, this shit is fucking crazy. I was like, okay, first I seen the baby roach, but then I was like, nah, bro. And then when, you know, I seen the big roach, I was like, damn, bro, this nigga really do got roaches on his truck. I was like, what the fuck? Oh my God, like, what the fuck? I don't know what's going on. Hey. Okay. So I was just like, wow, this shit crazy. So I had hopped up real quick. And then, you know, my reflexes kicked in. Is it in against? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I ended up killing the motherfucking roach. I like took my shoe off and like hit that motherfucker. And I was just like, oh my God, like this is a whole roach. And this one, no regular degla ass roach. This was like a roach, a big ass, fat ass, juicy ass roach. Like that roach was eating good before I got on that motherfucker. So then I'm in the back freaking the fuck out. And then all of a sudden I see another roach crawling on top of the roof. You know what I'm saying? Of the, of the cab. And I was just like, oh my God, bro. Like what the fuck? I was just like, this man had roaches on his truck. I was just like, damn, I can't believe this man got roaches on his truck. But luckily I was already on my way home. Uh, so I didn't even really have to call Prime about this man because I was already getting off the truck and I was already on my way home. So, you know, that's just what that is. I really just want to go ahead and elaborate to my subscribers out there before y'all get on these trainers trucks, man, please get out there and look into these trainers trucks. See how these trainers is living. It's a four by four box that y'all are driving in and your trainer has roaches. It's like, that's not acceptable. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even acceptable on Prime's part, you know what I'm saying, to have trainers like that. So that's with that, that's what happened with my last trainer. 
I can't make this shit up if I could. You know, don't let these trainers take advantage of y'all. Don't have, feel like you have to ride with a trainer who is nasty. Report they ass to prom. You know what I'm saying? Prom need to do their job and make sure that they don't even have trainers out there like that that's representing their brand. You know what I'm saying? But since they do have trainers out there that's representing their brand, y'all need to get in these trainers' trucks and see what the fuck is going on. And don't just hop in these trainers' trucks just because you feel like, oh, I need to get a trainer. Because that's what I did and then look where I'm at. Because I, I know for a fact okay i'm not the only one who has been in a trainer's truck the truck was nasty you know what i'm saying and these are other people from prime that's been coming to me telling me about this shit so i'm not the only person this ain't the first time this shit gonna happen and this ain't the last so y'all really need to check and get into that okay period with that trainer the reason why i didn't call prime to let them know what the fuck was going on was because i was already going through personal shit of my own i was on my way home already because while i was on my way to doing my first love with my trainer i ended up getting a call from my family letting me know that a very person that's very near and dear to me and my family passed away I did deal with the death of my family member while i was on the road which is why i got off the road which is why i was on my way home to texas in the first place you know what i'm saying i ended up getting off the road because i had to come home and deal with a death in my family that's the only reason why i did not call prom to complain to prom about another one of their trainers i decided to go ahead and take the time that i needed to grieve about my family that passed away that was near and dear to my heart period i had to come home and deal with that i had to come home and grieve i had to come home and be with my family so that's the reason why i ended up getting off the truck in the first place it was never about my trainer it was always about me getting off the road for my family and that's just well that's just so what happened when i got on his truck you know what i'm saying he did have that going on on his truck but i was already finna get off his truck anyway because i was finna come home to deal with the death of my family i don't know if y'all noticed but one point in my youtube i was dropping videos every other day but then all of a sudden my videos slowed down when my videos started to slow down this is when i was at home grieving now my family member passed away back back in october okay so i've been off of the truck with prom since october the 22nd and I've been off the truck because like I said, I had called prom and I uh, called my dispatch. I told them that I needed to come home for my family. And you know, since it was such a close person that died in my family, I had to, you know, help, you know, prepare the things, you know, grieve, prepare funerals and things like that. So I had to be home for my family at that point. I told prom I would not be coming back to prom for at least about a month. You know what I'm saying? Now, anybody out there for prom, y'all already know what I'm going to say is facts. So, y'all know I'm not fabricating this shit or I'm not making this shit up. When you do go to prom and you are in training, if you do have to go home, do home time for anything that is as significant as a death in your family, uh, you are only allowed to be off of the truck in training for up to 29 days. Anytime after 29 days, you, you have to restart the whole process over. Me being at home for more than a month ended up having to make me start my process over, which means I was gonna have to reapply to prom and everything because I left, which is why when I say I quit prom, I did quit prom. I left prom because I had to come home and deal with things in my family. Oh, for everybody out there talking about, oh, you got fired. No, I did not get fired. I've been gone from prom. I left prom in October. I have been gone. You know what I'm saying? Period. I said I left prom in October 22nd of this year in 2019. Some of my OG subscribers will already know what I'm talking about. I was posting videos every other day and then all of a sudden I only started posting videos once a week. Okay, this happened because I have videos already pre-recorded, which a lot of the videos that I've been dropping her were already pre-recorded because I wanted to keep dropping my content, but I also had to deal with what I was dealing with at home. So that's the reason why I ended up getting off of Prime's truck or basically quitting Prime ultimately because I had to come home and deal what I had to deal with. I came home from Prime, you know, at this point, you know, I, like I said, this was back in October. Now, a month passed by, so, you know, Prime told me, okay, well, you're going to have to reapply and, you know, do the whole process over again in order to come back. My dispatcher told me that, you know, when I was ready to come back, make sure that I call her, she'll send me through the Prime and then, you know, I should be able to come back because I didn't have nothing on my record. I didn't have nothing holding me back. Now, mind you, this was back when I only had about 200 subscribers on my channel. Now, my channel, I ended up getting 
losing a lot, a lot of subscribers when I was at home. And when the month came by, we did everything we needed to do. Um, I was ready to come back to Prime to finish out my 50,000 miles and finish out my contract with Prime. When I did go out and I did try to finish um, up my contract with Prime and I did reapply to Prime, you know, I ended up contacting my recruiter. My recruiter, um, she told me, you know, she'll get back to me in the, within a day or two, but it should be no reason why I should not get accepted back into Prime. When I did finally get that call as telling me if I'm accepted back into Prime or not, Prime, uh, she ended up telling me that I could not get uh, accepted back into Prime due to my YouTube videos. So I was just like, what do you mean? So she ended up sending me to safety and safety told me that I had been getting a lot of complaints about the driving in my videos, um, you know, about me driving in my videos and that's not a part of Prime's policy. So with that being said, I could not be accepted back into Prime due to that. For everybody getting my thing like, oh, she quit, she didn't try to come back. I did try to come back to Prime to uh, 50,000 miles and finish off my contract, but Prime did not accept me back in to prom to uh, do my contract so it's not like i didn't uh, try to come back they did not allow me to come back due to the complaints that i was getting on my youtube video the complaints that i was getting on my youtube videos were due to my first trainer now when i put out my uh why am i getting off my trainer's truck I did do the discretion of not, A, I did not show my trainer's face. I did not give out my trainer's name in the video. I also, you know, even put a disclaimer in the beginning of that video saying that I wanted to respect my trainer's privacy. Everything that I did in that video was all about my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I did not have Prime's logo in that video. I was sitting in a hotel room talking to a camera about how I felt about what I went through that night in that truck with my trainer when my first trainer seen that video he did not like what he saw now of course i am entitled to my opinion okay period i can say what i want to say on my platform i am entitled to my opinion and nobody can take that away from me prom cannot make me take down my video for my opinion uh because prom doesn't even have a social media policy my first trainer cannot make me take down a video for my opinion because i did not say his name even start to get emails from my trainer's wife telling me one of my trainer's wives telling me that I need to take down the videos or they're going to sue me. Now, I feel like, say in the beginning, I only had about 200 subscribers coming home and my subscribers went from 200 to 2,000. I felt like if I would have only kept the 200 subscribers, now mind you, I love every last one of my subscribers. So don't feel like, you know, this is not on y'all. This is me and my platform and this is what I decided to do, okay? So this is not me talking about my subscribers at all. Let me go ahead and put this disclaimer. I love all my Royal Trucking family period so this is not on y'all this is just me telling y'all the situation that i feel i had 200 subscribers i felt like if i would have only kept those same 200 subscribers none of this would have been an issue for my trainer and he would have just brushed it off but i grew so quickly the video uh got so many views that he felt like oh wow more eyes are on this video so now i have a problem with what is being said she threatened to sue me that if i didn't remove my video even though I never mentioned his name in the video, I never mentioned her name in the video. You know what I'm saying? I just gave my experience. She was emailing me, telling me that she wants me to remove pictures of the truck, you know, remove instances where, you know, he could have showed up or whatever. I literally took a whole day, went into my YouTube, and edited a lot of my videos. Like 98% of my videos from my TNT phase, I edited them down. I even went as far as to deleting one of my videos that I just didn't even feel like editing because it just it was too much. A lot of y'all would know that video. That's my cooking video. If y'all don't see that video on my page anymore, that's why I deleted it. Because she wanted to come on there and talk about she wanted to do all of this stuff. And you know what? I said, you know what? I complied. I complied to what she wanted. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, okay, it's really in the day. It's not really worth it. You know what I'm saying? If she wants me to remove instances of his truck or she wants me to do other things in the video to make her feel better, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But then it got to the point to where even after complying with everything that she wanted me to do, she kept emailing me saying that, okay, well, if you don't take down the video, keep harassing you, basically. So this is where she was like, if you don't take down the video, I'm going to keep harassing you. I'm going to have my family members call up to prom to tell prom, hey, that she's violating your driving policy, which ultimately led to the reason why when I tried to reapply to prom, I couldn't reapply to prom because my trainer's wife or and my trainer decided that they wanted to blackball me from prom and call prom and complain to prom about my videos, which ultimately led to me not being able to get 
you know, not able to get hired back on Supreme. You know, I followed what you wanted me to do. I went in and removed things that you asked me to do. And yet I still get harassing emails from his wife. They flagged my video to YouTube, said I was violating their privacy laws. That didn't work because I never said their name in the video. So it, I never violated YouTube's privacy laws. And the video that I put out was nothing but facts. If you wouldn't have done what you did, I would have never made a video about it. And that's just what that is, period. Or maybe the next students that you get, cause he's still training at prom. So maybe the next students that you get at prom, they can see this video and they can know what to look out for. Maybe next time, instead of trying to spend time with your family, you would try to train me like the trainer that you're supposed to be. Hey, prime should have never rehired you as a trainer because you put me in harm's way to spend time with your family and having more than three heartbeats on the truck because that is a prime safety violation that you violated by having more than three heartbeats on the truck at the same time i'm saying this to stop harassing me stop calling prime about me because i no longer work there okay period but i said all of that to say this in my video i got on youtube in the beginning to make videos about my experience at prom my experience at prom was my experience at prom i am not telling people this because i don't want them to work at prom because like i said at the end of the day even like i said in my live prom is a good company to work for especially if you are trying to start and get your cdl i am not bashing prom i am basically saying when it comes to tnt look at all of their trainers go into their trainers trucks make sure these trainers are having livable trucks for their students to go on if you have trainers violating these safety rules you know what i'm saying and but you won't hire me back onto prom because you say i violated safety rules but you have a whole trainer who had more than three heartbeats on the truck and i talked to the person who was over tnt and he even agreed that he shouldn't have had more than three heartbeats on the truck while he was trying to train me having me driving nights while there were more than three people on that truck you know these are things like if you're gonna get on me you should take uh your own advice and take into consideration what this trainer did to me as a student and you need to look into that too as well you know prom is really still a good company if you still want to go to prom and get your cdl i would still you know i would still agree with that i would still tell you to do it because at the end of the day prom is a good company they just have bad apples in the bunch that make it look bad so prom i know y'all watching this video if y'all are watching this video y'all need to do a lot of retuning to your training program these are things that prom should look into and this is what i went through you know what i'm saying and i wouldn't even be talking about this or sharing these experiences if i didn't go through these things you know what i'm saying because i'm not making up things for youtube this is the stuff that actually happened but at the end of the day i have been hired by another trucking company and i would not be disclosing i'm pretty sure i don't know if you guys seen my live but if you have not i would not be disclosing the next company that i go to because i do have people that are watching my videos that are trying to watch see me fail you know what i'm saying because they don't want me to tell the truth okay it's just what it is you know i was left in a walmart parking lot for two days and i didn't share i did a drive my uh first trainer around and other people on the truck you know what i'm saying this is just the truth which is against prime safety people everything that i'm saying is something that happened this is not something that i'm making up i have paper trails of this stuff i have videos and text messages of this stuff i have already like you know this is stuff that's really happening you know what i'm saying so i just feel like this is something that people need to know and i'm laying all this on the line because i'm gonna end this 2020 is coming up i'm not gonna continue to take this into 2020 prom was an, a learning experience and i learned a lot from prom and i thank prom for giving me this learning experience because it showed me a lot of what not to do when i get to my next company so i'm already working for another company so these trucking videos will keep coming and i will keep sharing my experiences with y'all as i see them authentically i just want to say one more time thank you to everybody who has watched this video thank you to everybody who has rocked out with me you know what i'm saying i hate that this video had to get so serious but this is literally what i'm going through as a youtuber on youtube anybody wants to come out here and they want to do youtube just look at what i'm going through and take it for what it is you know what i'm saying don't let nobody try to silence you at the same time make sure you're covering your ass which is what i did with the paper trail that i left with the uh, videos that i taken with the screenshots and text messages that i had going on i have proof of the negligent training that i received from prom if it wasn't true i wouldn't have put it online you know what I'm saying? Maybe next time before you feel like you want to have more home time than dealing with your 
students, you know, then you will think twice about that. With that being said, okay, your girl is still gonna be dropping these trucking videos. Your girl still gonna be doing what she need to do, period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? I just really need to come out here and make this video because like I said, I have been contacted by Prom. So this is the second video that I put out Prom, letting people know that I do not work for you, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your girl will be coming at you with new content in the year 2020. So keep looking out for those videos. This right here will pretty much be the last video that I dropped this year, okay? So I'm trying to end it on a good note. Christmas, happy holidays. Um, you know, happy new year to everybody. I hope everybody prosper. Congratulations to everybody who have decided to get into trucking. And I'll see you guys next year. Bye. Thank you.